Common Core Math. It's new, it's different, and let's face it, if you don't know the point of it all, it looks kind of funny. So what is it like to be a math teacher in the middle of all this? So Chris, you're at a PTA meeting. What's the first question you get from parents? Why are we doing math in this way? If I was taught in one way and I understood how math was taught, why do we need to change the way math is taught today? I think 14 years ago, at least when I started teaching, we did more surface level teaching. So we didn't go deep into conceptual understanding. As the mathematician Ralph P. Boas says, suppose you want to teach the cat concept to a very young child. Do you explain that a cat is a relatively small, primarily carnivorous mammal with retractable claws? No, I don't think so. You show the kid a lot of different cats, saying kitty each time until he gets the idea. You know how you talk about kids that have the light bulb go off? One time I did have a student that literally jumped out of his seat when he made a connection with fractions. He was in the fourth grade, we were talking about fractions, he was having a hard time understanding that concept, and I related it to money and I also related it to time. We talked about a quarter, one-fourth, and we also talked about how in money, when we have a quarter, that's equal to 25 cents. And then we talked about time, and we talked about how, you know, a quarter after five meant that it was 515. And then we talked about fractions and how one-fourth is one-quarter because four-fourths is equal to one whole. And because I was able to make those connections across topics, he finally, after years, understood what quarter after five meant. And he literally, I could see you know, him jump up and he said, you know, Mrs. Hemstetter, my father has always told me that you know, I needed to be home for dinner by quarter after five, and he never understood what quarter after five meant. So he would always get in trouble for being late or we'd always come home early. And I think at one time we taught fractions using pizzas. And it's not necessarily the representation that all students understand. Now, in addition to the pizza area model, fractions are taught through a number line, which makes it easier to represent the addition and subtraction of fractions. Kids need those to be taught, those multiple different representations, and they can choose which one makes it easier for them.